While this election generated unprecedented interest here in this country, it was also closely watched by people all around the world. NBC Jim Maceda has the international reaction. Jim, good morning. Good morning, Meredith. Well, Obama mania actually started here in Europe, so it's no surprise that here and around the world this morning, people are happy and excited that their man has won. From the bars in Paris to the streets in Beijing, Obama. it seemed like the whole world was cheering a new global leader. Obama. Obama. Change has come to America. Obama's message resonated across continents and time zones. Obama. Go. <laughs> this morning, British Prime Minister Gordon Brown called Obama's election historic. I know that the values we share in common and the policies on which we can work together uh, will enable us uh, as two countries to come through these difficult economic times. After eight years of strained relations with the Bush administration, many Europeans are thrilled by America's new face, black and white, already bringing the U.S. closer to the world. C'est formidable. Ça. <laughs> In Obama's ancestral village in Kenya, his half-brother and step-grandmother could barely believe the news. NBC's Ron Mott was there. It is here where his father is buried, and these folks in this tiny village of about a thousand people waited all night for this moment. Other voices were more sober. It's going to be a big job. He's going to need some big shoulders. Obama inherits two costly wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. I applaud the American people for their courage. Today, Afghan President Hamid Karzai congratulated Obama on his victory, hoping that translates into peace. But even in hot spots like Iraq and Israel, there was joy and relief and hope that one man's victory might change the world. President Obama will likely get a long honeymoon with Europe and beyond, but Obama's biggest hurdle, analysts here say, will be coping with the world's impossibly high expectations of him. Meredith? Thanks very much, Jim.